What is really going on, everybody? This is Lazy Button back here on some Imperion. Um, so my stuff kind of went downhill. I uh, accidentally swapped my game from basically experimental to non-experimental, and that kind of killed my save. So what I did was I went ahead and uploaded my. Uh, my build, my small vessel build up to the, up on the workshop if you guys are interested in having it. I mean, it's, uh, pretty quick. We'll take a, we'll actually take a fly around in it and see what happens. Now, you cannot drive this from the, the seat. I mean, you could. You could just remove the block right here in front of my face. It'd be a little, a little easier to see. I prefer V, anyways. Let's go ahead and check the fuel. Oh, we're good. We're 95% on fuel. Now this bad boy is quick. I've already raided a few places on the map. Got a whole bunch of stuff. I prefer the rail gun. I mean, they're all feasible weapons. They can all be used. If I want to go after a drone, you know, if I... Don't think I can hit it with a rail gun. Don't want to waste ammo. I'll use a mini gun. We also got homing rockets, regular rockets, and artillery. This thing does have two spotlights on the front. Um. are short and sweet. This thing does have pretty good maneuverability. The only thing it lacks in currently is the strafing. I don't have a lot of thrusters on the side. I'm thinking about possibly adding one or two more. So it takes a minute to get up to snuff when it comes to strafing. But other than that, she is pretty solid. What are you? You're a research outpost. Okay. I've already discovered you. Those things are really cool too. Um, basically, they have a lot of tier two weapons inside. So you can end up getting, oh, there's the end of the map. So you can end up getting a lot of tier two stuff from it. Huh, I was looking for something to kill. I've already taken down the drone outpost. Got a couple rare weapons. Well, I got several rare weapons. I always like to keep my guns reloaded so I don't end up having to reload in the middle of a dogfight or the middle of a base battle or this uh it's made out of all solid resources it's uh armor plated basically it is a uh, it's kind of cheap to make but there are some some expensive resources in there ah statistics luckily the expensive resources are kept to a minimum. Um, Sathium's, I guess, the most. But other than that, it's pretty cheap to make. It's a, it's a level 20 craft. You have to be level 20 to make it. All hand built by me. And I do hope you guys like it. If you decide to try it out, go ahead and let me know what you think, or let me know what you think down in the comments if you if you like it so far. I'm currently debating on whether I want to work on a capital vessel. I'll probably end up doing it anyways. It's just going to take me a very long time. And I do have a section of the build for you guys. It's not going to be a whole lot because it's mostly me deciphering what blocks I wanted to use and where I wanted to use them. But I'll throw in bits and pieces of me making the craft. And honestly, I didn't I didn't think to record me, uh, actually. Yeah. Yeah. 
up. We might be able to take it. We might be able to take a little bit of it. Not a whole lot of it, but we'll be able to take some of it. Okay, let's get in here. Am I hitting the turret? Yes. Yes, I am. Sorry, a little distracted. I didn't expect this space to pop up in here. Now, I know there's another turret somewhere around here. I'm not going to go in here yet, but I did want to show you guys what this what this vehicle is capable of. We just completely wrecked turrets on this space, no problem. Alright, where is my base? Okay, so we basically want to head this way. So I just wanted to show you what the, uh, we're on the other side of the map. Son of a... Yeah. Yes, I know you can fly through that. I just don't want to. But all in all, let me know what you think. Because I like it. I like it a lot. be quite honest, I knew the mid part was somewhere, I just didn't realize it was that far away. Another research outpost, man, I'm just, just nailing it today. Okay. But yeah, definitely. Let me know what you think. If you think I should work on a capital vessel, give me a go ahead, let me know. I mean, I'm probably going to do it. If you have any input or ideas, let me know. I'm always up for options. But uh, we're going to get back to the base. Now, power usage is 64%. Sometimes when you bump other things, it gets a little higher. So what we're going to do is I can't fit this in my base, but I do have a repair bay. I'm going to move it up to where I usually park this because I'd rather repair this than anything else. And then we'll get back to the base. I'm going to do that real quick and then uh, I'll jump right into giving you guys the, mo guys the montage of the video. And I'm too high. I'll hold off on landing this up there until I get the repair bay up there. That way I don't have to try to work under the ship. I'll also go ahead and boost up the contrast on this. Hopefully you guys will be able to see a little better than what you're seeing now. Or at least what I'm seeing. She looks like she held up really well taking, I mean, I lost the spotlight. Whoopty friggin' do, I lost the spotlight. I mean, who cares about a spotlight? Everything else is intact, that's all that matters. The spotlights are super squishy anyways. Alright. Unfortunately for me, this thing actually come with a repair bay. Come, came, that one. The one with the face and the hair. Okay, so we're gonna throw you here. We're gonna take you back downstairs and throw you down there. 
then later I'll make another spotlight to replace that one's broken. I also downloaded this bad boy. I figure I'm gonna use it, test it out, bunker busting. I'll put a description down below of where you can find it in the workshop. It seems pretty solid. The only thing I don't like about it is it doesn't have any cargo storage. So I may add a little bit of cargo storage before I take off. I'm pretty sure I can find a spot somewhere to add cargo. Alright, let's get this up there, get it repaired, and, I mean, it's pretty solid. It might not be, you know, solid like this on another planet with harder turrets and stuff, but it was really fast, really good starter ship. I just hope you guys enjoy it. like I hope you guys enjoy my super amazing park job. You will be repaired. You just spin, minigun. You spin. I hate when you get out of these things how your light goes off. But anyways, um... Hope you guys enjoyed the video so far. Next time we'll uh, focus on taking her up in space. We'll have to make a bunch of ammunition. I made enough so I could you know, test her out for you. We'll take it up into space and then maybe even get to check out this thing. It is, uh, actually I can give you a lot of it right now. It's called the Dark Knight. It's pretty cheap to make. All in all. A little cheaper than my small vessel, but it's overcraft. We get in here, it should tell us who it's made by. Uh, Home Fry. Um, so yeah, Dark Knight hovercraft made by Home Fry. I will go ahead and put a link down below, and I'll put a link to mine just in case you guys might want to check her out. Maybe give me some ad some advice or some input on how to make it even better than it is, which. You guys will probably tell me a lot of things. <laughs> but, yep, I'll bring in the montage and we'll be back afterwards.
Alright, welcome back. Hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, make sure you splat that like button for me. Because it helps out more than you know. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe for more content. More daily content. Maybe even some more builds. Who knows. If you guys end up liking the build, then I'll, I'll definitely start building a little more. I'll probably still do it off camera and record it. Just so I can do it in montage mode, so we're not spending, you know, an hour building a fraction of a ship. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to take this time to thank you guys for stopping by to watch the episode. And I will catch you guys in the next one. You take care, and take it easy. Bye-bye.